So part of hypothesis testing is figuring out what the tail is. And what we mean by that is that every single hypothesis test will either be a one tail or a two tail test. And that can all be determined by looking at the signs in our hypotheses. If your hypotheses are equal to and not equal to, that's how we know it's a two tail test. If you have greater than or less than in your hypotheses, then it's a one tail test. So that's the first question that we can ask ourselves each time is, are we dealing with a one tail or a two tail test? Now, if it's a one tail test, there's another question that we have to ask ourselves. Is it a right tail or a left tail? So for that answer, we're going to look at the signs in our alternative hypothesis. So if our sign is greater than, it's a right tail test. If our sign is less than, it's a left tail test. But notice how these signs almost look like arrows. The greater than sign looks like an arrow pointing to the right. So it's a right tail test. The less than sign looks like an arrow pointing to the left. So it's a left tail test. Now, why is any of this important? Knowing the tail allows us to know where that rejection region is going to be on our bell curve. So if it's a right tailed test, that means anything to the right of your critical value is the rejection region. And if it's a left tailed test, anything to the left of your critical value is your rejection region.